In the last 25 years, there have been three Ohio State football captains that have hailed from Mercer County, but only one of those three played high school football in the Sports Report era and thus is eligible for 44's Top 44, finishing at number four. Ross Holman, Coldwater, Class of 2006 football. The 2005 Division IV Player of the Year, leading the Cavaliers to the 2005 Division IV state title, the school's first state football crown. A two-way threat at a running back, rushing for 1,412 yards and 26 touchdowns on 215 carries, while catching 31 passes for 488 yards and four touchdowns. As a linebacker, totaled 119 solo tackles and 85 assists as a senior, including 17 for lost yardage, had one interception, which he returned for a touchdown, three times first team All-Ohio. Probably the most dominating player that you could always count on. Uh, defensive, like you said, defensively, offensively, could run the ball, could catch the ball, and then, uh, you know, boy, he could just dominate a game on defense. If, you, if you're a running, pure running team, you're going to have problems with that team because they were a good team. I think the thing you liked about Ross in that capacity playing offense in high school was he had a defensive mentality about it, a, a ferocity, a desire of a defensive player just happened to be carrying the ball, and that's bad news for defenders on the other team. And I mean, that was one of the ways that they won that first state championship was hand the ball to Ross because, as you said, nobody's going to stop him. But, uh, He's sort of the standard that I use to judge talent around here as far as linebackers. You know, if somebody tells me there's a really good linebacker that Ohio State ought to be recruiting him, I go watch YouTube of that kid, then I go watch a YouTube of Ross Holman, you know, and most of the times you can see a difference because not only was he a powerful 230-pound guy, but he could run too. His freshman year was my first year, and I can remember talking to Dan Kenny, who was a senior when Ross was a freshman. And, and, and I didn't know hardly anybody. I just had met Dan and I knew him a little bit. I said, who's that, who's that big guy, big thick looking dude over there? He goes, that's Ross Holman, he's a freshman. And I kept pointing at him, I said, no, that guy. He said, yep, that's Ross. And, and so, you know, after, you know, just getting to know him a little bit. And then each year, you know, he just got better and bigger and faster and stronger. And, and certainly then, you know, the, the, the statistics and the, and the uh, playmaking uh, speak for themselves. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you know, you, you see the, that, that kid playing as an eighth grader, and you're like, who is that kid? You know, and then, then he starts as a freshman. But uh, probably, the, you know, one of the most dominant players we ever went against, you know, just sideline to sideline. Uh, you know, in his junior and senior year, physically, you know, we just had no answer for him. You know, we, we didn't have too many kids that, that could compete at his level. So, um, you know, we, we were certainly happy when he graduated. Oh yeah, as a running back, he was very good. Uh, I think he caught a swing pass against us, uh, which cost us uh, the game one time. Uh, but defensively, he was he was very very good. I mean, uh, you know, I, one game in particular, he just took over the whole game, both sides of the ball, and a great player, a great kid. And uh, you know, again, we had some epic battles with him as well. He, because he was so versatile, he could he could do everything. But I guess pro probably uh, he was just so so physically mature and fast. You combine that size and athleticism, um, man, and, and and he could he just knew how to play. He had the whole the whole the whole package. And so I guess that probably, but just his his toughness and playmaking ability, man. If he tackled you, you know, you're going down. You know, the reality is he was exactly what we we're looking for. The kind of guy that was a hard nosed, tough football player. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure he wasn't as talented. Um, linebackers I coached. I mean, guy that to had the ability to, from day one when he came in here, um, nobody could stay on their feet better than Ross Holman with better balance. The thing that Luke Fickle used to say was that he was instinctive, that he knew how to play linebacker without stopping to think about what he needed to do like so many guys do. That and, you know, even, even at the college level, he had pretty good speed to go along with the fact that he, he was a hard hitter. So just to, uh, brought the whole package to, to, the, to the deal and was a men amongst boys in, in really every game we played. At Ohio State, Holman was an all-Big Ten linebacker and served as a team captain for his senior season in 2010. Drafted by the NFL's Minnesota Vikings before concussions derailed his pro football career. Ross Homan, number four on 44's top 44 male athletes. Ross's younger brother Adam followed him to Ohio State where he played fullback 
and finished 51st on our countdown.